everybody and welcome to another unboxing video so today i have here a package from alice's collection which i'm super excited to open up it just um at least based on when i'm actually recording this it's been a day since i've got it i wasn't able to record it um yesterday because i had to go to work when it arrived but now here i am i have some free time and i decided to finally open it up so we have here again as expected of alice's collection it's actually pretty pretty full of tape i won't be so showing you the other side because that is where my information is but let me cut through right here very gently to see if we can open it up like this all right there we go we're, we're making progress So inside, inside a box are two more boxes. Yay! Not sure what this is for, but we have here. You can already see what they are. They are Gary White and Gary in normal skin. So let's take a look first at this. Let me take this off for safety. And they have this for cushioning, which is actually pretty nice of them. I'm not exactly sure why this is in a slightly smaller box, but we'll see. So here we have from Dream Valley, and this is their um, Dragon Gary. Uh, they released this some time ago, and I was still pretty um, focused on the larger dolls for this. I knew I wanted to get one, but as soon as I wanted, or at least as soon as I had the money, the fun to actually buy this, they were already like sold out. I was really, really bummed about it. But here we are. Let me take off. I didn't expect them to come in these big boxes. Let me put this here. So we have here the first one, Dream Valley. Well, let's, op ju let's just open up the other one, you know? Let me take this out which is more snug fit what why okay all right and it's i think i'm going to put this down and let's open up this other one so as i was saying um i actually wanted as you can see from the name um at the top this is actually white skin the other one is in normal skin this is going to be my first time. Um, this is going to be my first Dream Valley doll, if you can consider it a doll. Well, it's a pet doll. Um, anyways. Oh, okay. So the reason that this is slightly bigger, it also has a cushion inside. So I'll be putting that away for now. And then, open this up. So I have here the two boxes from Dream Valley. These are in stock and currently as I am recording this, um, Alice's collection still has the normal skin. So if you want to get one, I highly suggest that you go to their website right now. So let's take a look at this. How do we open? Okay, it's from this part. Okay. And then we have here a small cushion like this. So, and then bubble wrap. We have here the tags that they give. So this is, I think, maybe like their certification of authenticity. Yep. And then we have their, my dear master, glad to meet you. Uh -huh -huh. It's my birthday. My name from you is... Uh -huh -huh. So, very exciting. I'm going to put this back here, the tag. Um, I'm probably going to leave this inside the box just in case. And I have this one. So, they gave me this round bead like for the eyes. And um, this one, the tag for the eyes to stick on. 
I'm going to put that there. So it do does it stay open? Okay, it stays open. And then I have more tacks as um, as a gift from Alice's collection. And then more wrapping. And then oh, I have this extra sponge. And oh, here he is. Don't worry, I washed my hands before I actually do this. Oh. Okay, the normal skin is more yellowish, um, not really yellowish, but more like what is it? peach, peach-ish color. But anyways, oh, he's so cute! He's so 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 cute. So these are all jointed. Sorry, <laughs> these are all jointed. Oh, I'm so afraid of like having this re-strung if ever so how do i so this one is also this one is also you can move i don't know how much i guess only like this side no problem same for the whole tail yep and then we have here the legs so this one and this one you can probably move yep you can stand him so how do we open the head is my good question i know it has something to do with this the cut being here so let me okay okay so it's not that hard it's magnetic here and <laughs> it's so small this is so small so we have here the head and of course okay so i can imagine how I'm starting to like think how to do the hmm when I do the coloring and stuff but I'm actually surprised this is not like jointed even this is like a permanent sculpt this uh the ears I would have liked it if they are also like movable for st or at least to some extent but uh for st for stability I'm not going to complain course the wings are also jointed this is going to be a pain though this is going to be a pain um restringing i feel okay he's in a weird <laughs> he's in a weird position but anyways let's open up the other one hmm. so i'm expecting it would be quite the same with yep plastic cover the tag, I'm going to put it on this side so I won't confuse it with the other one. Eyes, more plastic, a bigger, um, this one, and then the white skinned. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. He's not actually paper white, he is kind of, but he's still white, you cannot deny this is white just not paper white more like creamy ish white sorry i'm not that <laughs> i'm not that sure about the coloring and stuff but yeah so so far all the joints are very good very nice not too tight i can still move them without any problems wings are also very nice head movement this is as much as it can do i guess from side and then the other side the tail is the same um the only thing that is if i had to like comment really i'm not sure if this was pointed out but um the opening being right here i don't actually know how to feel about it because if you take a look at it like this right you can see like there's another chin here <laughs> and for me it's a little awkward maybe just put it somewhere maybe preferably just here on the back like a normal bjd but again you have to imagine that this is a dragon so at first at the picture i actually thought this is the mouth <laughs> um but then i realized oh he has a mouth here and some cute nose <laughs> anyways um but that's just me i guess and we have here like this two magnets um it has some engravings into it 
not sure what it is or what it means probably for the dragon and being it in white skin this is the head so there's not much difference between the two of them only the color of it so you can really tell that the, that there's a difference. I actually wanted two white ones and sadly they only had one white and I am guessing more than one normal because they still have one. I'm not sure how many they have left. So if you really want these to add to your collection, I highly recommend. They are so 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 cute. So as a bonus, let's try. Let's try to have at least one of them have the, these black eyes. I'm assuming these are the same as those that you can see in the promotional photos that they posted in their websites. But just for fun, um, I want to try because this is my first time going to be inserting like a black bead rather than an eye of a BJB, re the regular eye. So let's see how well I can actually pull this off. In front of all of you while filming. <laughs> all right. So as usual, you use the tack. You make it like this. At least this is how I do even for regular BJDs. And we're doing it like so. All right. So this is a lot easier since I don't have to stretch it much, because we all because the um, the bead is very small. Don't need a lot to use, and then oh, there you go. Yeah, so you can actually. <laughs> so you, I actually have to push it to. So I have to push it in order for it to like, really pop out. Um, let me see. Let me see. I still. Let me get my eyes for a sec. <laughs> so I know these are for like regular BJDs, but I'm very curious on how they would look like with the dragon head. I have here 10, 10 millimeters from Alice's collection that I haven't opened quite yet. I was going to use them for another BJD that I have, the rabbit that I bought some time ago, last year I'm thinking. Um, it's also in my channel, so if you want to see what it looks like, you can click. Um, I'll put it a tag here for you to be for it to be easier for you to access. So here, huh? It is a little weird, but it's also sort of cute for me. Hmm. Prefer I prefer I think the uh, the iris this one to be a bit bigger a, a little bit more bigger so i want to try the 14 the 14 inches uh, 14 but oh here is now the problem you can't exactly insert them properly because the head has a very small space but you can still i guess hmm a little weird but it's still meh i'm guessing these beads would probably my go-to for now um or maybe these 10 millimeters i can't forgive the 10 millimeters i guess All right i don't know if you can really see it like this or like that so this is a versus b what do you think um, please help me decide. <laughs> uh, I'm not actually hating this. It's actually pretty nice. The 10 millimeters. I might get more if I liked it that much. I have these here, the one with the slits. Um, but sadly, they are going to be too sunken in. It's not going to be really nice to look at. Unless I get one with like the 10 millimeter stuff. Again, they won't be able to fit. But let me try this one this is 12 this is 12 millimeter small iris and huh <laughs> that was weird sorry um oh this 
is not oh now we see the problem you can see that it's really sunken in so it's going to be pretty bad i have to say yeah this is more popped out i would like to see it more popped out so oh let me try again the 10 millimeters is it going to pop out huh yes it will so there you go if you want to use regular bjdi's for this one 10 millimeter is the way to go as it really pops out the same as this one so you can see it still pops out although not as much as this one but hey i mean what can you do right um but anyways that is it for me guys thank you so much i know this is just a short video i wanted to film this um i have to say they are still very cute um pros very cute <laughs> uh what else they are very affordable i'm guessing um i don't know how you guys would describe affordable but for me it is affordable and it's re really really at least compared to other bjd pets it's actually quite the regular price um i know dream valley has another kind of dragon which i will post somewhere here on the screen for you to see um and other creatures that they uh they like to make i really really like some of their pets and i'm looking forward to finding them like maybe in stock or um whatever i really really want to get my hands on them though uh, that is for sure so dream valley is going to be one of my go-to for sure um when i want some pet bjds so here we are so if it's like this right it's really cute but again one of the cons that really bugs me is when it tilts like that you can really see this cut no matter how much i put makeup on it you will really see that and it's a little bit irritating for me so i i don't know about you maybe for you it's going to be okay but for me it still quite looks like his mouth is not this one but this one like he's like eh. <laughs> anyways so tell me which one would you prefer do you prefer the normal skin or the white skin at least now i know that if i order from dream valley like the normal human sculpts that this is going to be what i would be expecting in a normal skin and this is what i would be expecting in a white skin for fantasy though i would recommend you to get the white skin because it really really looks lovely it's not again it's not paper white it's not sparkling white so this is actually really really nice for sure i'm going to be um having a face up for this one very soon um comment down below if you want to see me how to ha like how i do it i'm still a noob at this i would try to record it for you guys to see how much i fail at this one but oh well again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye